Hello everyone, I hope you're all well. Welcome back to another vlog. So today I'm finally meeting up with Hazel. It's been so long since I've seen her. So she's driven over this way because we're like five days away from due date. So I didn't really want to go far. I'm obviously absolutely exhausted. I've, well, I have days where I have like energy and then days where I just feel totally wiped out. And I do feel quite tired today, but I haven't had a coffee yet. So maybe once I've had a coffee, I'll... Uh, wake up a little bit but yeah she said she'll drive over here we kind of take it in turns anyway so the last time i saw her out she stayed at hers so it worked out pretty well but we are just gonna go for some lunch um local by the seafront have a big old catch up um because yeah it's been way too long and um yeah spend the day together so Today I'm actually going to be showing you the nursery, finally. Um, so that will be coming in this vlog. Don't skip to that bit. Really excited to share that with you because obviously I've been itching to share the room. Now it's pretty much all finished. Obviously there's only one thing that we need to put up and obviously that's her name sign, which I wouldn't have probably shown you anyway. So... Yeah, um, I'll be showing you that later on anyway, but I've just um, finished getting ready. I need to get dressed and I need a coffee because I am feeling tired. So this is the outfit of the day. I've just chucked on this maxi dress from Bumpsu. It's actually perfect because it's just, obviously it is like made for pregnant women. It's just really nice and comfortable and it's nice and thick as well it's not see for or anything which i love i've just chucked this leather jacket over the top from boohoo this was i think this was last year so i don't think this is available anymore but yeah this is a really long maxi dress and i'm just going to chuck my sliders on because that is all i can wear at the minute because otherwise my feet swell but yeah really nice and comfy on the old bump and i mean it's the, a bit of a drizzly day today so it's probably not the best day to wear a maxi dress but you know what <sighs> at this point i'm very limited <laughs> so i do not care how cute are these oh my goodness they are adorable zero to three months this is from hazel by the way she got me a little hamper of bits a little blankie baby girl bibs which we always need and then a little outfit here she got three to six months which is perfect because we really do need some more three to six months clothes so thank you very much for that we have a lot of little clothes but need more big ones that's like a little jumper and a bodysuit underneath and then it comes with little trousers oh so cute and then a little um pack of mittens and then a little snuggly toy and then i really love these obviously this is not going to be used for a little while but the little plates and stuff that they can eat from bamboo plate and spoon set so i really like that um when they're eating more solid foods and whatnot but yeah lovely little hamper so hazel has just left and i'm just going to chill out for a bit and then i'm going to start dinner because then harry will be on his way home however that lunch was very filling i had a very big lasagna i didn't finish it all but it was lovely yeah i'm gonna hang off a bit we won't eat till about an hour and a half or so so I should build up a bit of an appetite by then. I'm just currently sitting on my ball. I feel very uncomfortable and tight. Just gonna bounce here and chill out for a bit. Do some bits on my phone, answer some emails and stuff that I had come through today. But yeah, I've had a really nice day. Lovely catch up as always. There's never time for vlogging when, we're with, when I'm with Hazel because it's just literally like the whole time. But she'll probably be round in like a week or so, hopefully when baby girl arrives she'll be back round to see her because i said we both said that we don't want to leave it so long like i want her to see her when she's little so yeah hopefully she'll be round uh sooner rather than later 
But yeah, anyway, I'm gonna chill out for a bit and um, and then we'll make some dinner. Why does the sun decide to come out like later in the day? It's literally been gloomy all day. And then it hits like five, half five and the sun comes out. <laughs> anyway, um, this part of the video is in collaboration with HelloFresh again. Had one the other day, which was unreal. Um, I did post it to my Instagram story. So if you follow me on there, then you would have seen it. But it was so yummy. Tonight we have got this one, which is, again, so different. Like something that we probably, well, we definitely wouldn't have chosen in the supermarket if we was to have gone shopping and like picked up stuff ourselves. So it's the ultimate creamy coronation chicken. Harry is obsessed with coronation chicken at the minute. He's discovered coronation chicken sandwiches and... <clears throat> He is loving it. Oh, <clears throat> excuse me. Um, yeah, so I thought uh, Coronation would be a bit of him. So uh, yeah, it looks super, super tasty. So basically, I'm just gonna run through how HelloFresh works, firstly. So they're basically a subscription service. So you get meals sent to your doorstep every week. Super easy, you get to pick your meals as well. You can stop and start it if you're away for a week or whatever. It's super easy to use like, on your account like to manage it and stuff. And um, so yeah, you go on there, you pick all your meals. Like there's such a variety of foods to choose from and it just saves time like going to the supermarkets and stuff, you know, sometimes that can be a bit of a chore. And what I also love is, like I said at the beginning, the fact that you can try different meals because we have tried so many different meals with HelloFresh that we definitely wouldn't have purchased, like going to the supermarket. When we go to the supermarket, it's just the same meals all the time and it does get a bit repetitive. So with HelloFresh, you get to try so many different things, which for me is good because I'm so stuck in my ways and I'm just so used to buying the same stuff. That is good for me to actually try something different. And then basically you always receive a recipe card, which looks like this. And you follow all the steps on the back here. So it literally talks you through everything. So you cannot go wrong with cooking HelloFresh meals. And then everything comes in the paper bags and you're good to go basically. Um, and also you get to um, select like quick meals which is always good. So this one's 25 to 30 minutes, which is perfect because I don't want to be standing out here cooking for too long because I'm currently 39 weeks pregnant and I just don't want to be doing it. So the quicker the better. And to top it off, HelloFresh are giving you guys 60% off your first box and 25% off your next two boxes plus free gifts as well. So I will leave my discount code on screen for you as well as a QR code which you can scan and that will automatically add the discount on there for you. But yeah, definitely worth checking out. That discount is so, so good. Guys, it is absolutely chucking it down and it's thunder as well. But I kind of like it, it's quite cozy. <laughs> and it has gone really, really dark. So I'm gonna do the nursery tour in the morning because the sun, hopefully, should shine through baby girl's room in the morning. So yeah, we'll do it in the morning. Good morning, guys. So I'm about to show you the nursery. Ta-da.
So this is our little space for our little girl, which obviously she won't be in here on her own for a little while, but we just wanted to make this space kind of all ready so we can obviously feed in here and change her. I absolutely love how it's turned out. So I'll start off with a little changing area. So we actually already had these chest of drawers here in like how it was set up previously. I just had it as like my dressing room. So we already had these and I kind of didn't want to get rid of them because I really liked them. So what I did was is I just changed the handles because the handles were originally black. So we kind of went for like a oaky gold sort of theme in here, I guess. So I thought the gold would go nicely. So I just ordered the handles off of Amazon. I will link everything in the description box if I can. Obviously, if it's available and there, I will link it. But yeah, I'm so happy with how it looks. It makes it look really expensive. But the chest of drawers are only from Ikea. I think they look great. So we decided to keep the chest of drawers as kind of like the changing area. So we've just popped a lamp on here. The lamp is from Ikea as well. And the changing mat is from Etsy, which I absolutely love. I love the detail of it. And obviously it's the wedge one, so she ain't going nowhere when she's laying on it. <laughs> and then obviously, as you can see, we've got a very empty wall here. But I have ordered a sign, her name sign from Etsy, which will be going on this big empty wall. So I think that'll look really good when it comes. I've kind of ordered it in like a, the, the colour is called Calm Sands, so I'm assuming it's like a beigey colour, so I think it will really work well in filling that wasted space there, so I'm really excited for that to come. And then I've just got my pregnancy journal there, obviously that's not going to stay there, but it's just there at the moment. I'm not sure what I'll put there when I take it away. I suppose over time you kind of, I don't know, get used to what you want on the sides and stuff, you know? Um, but anyway, so we wanted to add a little bit of greenery into this room because we think if we didn't have any greenery it would be very, very plain. So we decided to add this kind of biggish plant from ikea in here and i really love it i think it kind of fits with the theme obviously we kind of wanted to go for like an animal theme as you can see we've got a few animals dotted around i just love how it kind of looks in here so yeah the plant is from ikea as well as the little pot we've got the tommy tippy bin which we are going to attempt to use all the prints in here are from decenio which i absolutely love and then we've got her little wardrobe so this is actually a kid's wardrobe like this is not an adult size it's again from ikea however with this wardrobe you actually can kind of build it to your liking really so again i'll link it below but it was quite confusing because when we went into the store you had to buy the bits individually and like it doesn't come as one so you have to buy the doors separate the drawers separate and then the kind of shell of it separate so it was a little bit confusing, but we managed to get there in the end and build it. But again, I've just put the same handles on as I have on the chest of drawers. We do need to put the handles on the drawers <laughs> because, um, yeah, that's supposed to have handles, but Harry hasn't got round to doing that just yet. Also, please ignore behind the chair. We are supposed to have a radiator there. However, that did get taken off the other day because we are changing all of our radiators, so currently this room does not have one and it's it's uh, it, we've been left with a kind of ugly situation going on back there, which we need to sort out, but we will do that over the next couple weeks, probably. Um, and we also do need to get a curtain for this room, so we won't be just leaving the blinds up, we'll be having the blinds as well as curtains. Moving on to kind of like the feeding area or like the chilled area so i am obsessed with this chair when i saw it online i fell in love with it and i just needed to get it again i will link it below it's from a company called tony keely's i think and it's just gorgeous it's it's a really really firm chair and it's also really high up as well which 
I find is really useful. Obviously, I needed to get a footstool with it because it is so high up, my feet literally dangle off the floor. <laughs> so I just ordered the footstool off of Amazon and I think it kind of fits well in here. Um, and then we've got this little guy here from H&M Home, which we bought very early on uh, in the pregnancy. Moving over to the back wall. So again, we've got the two Desenio prints up there, which one's a little bunny rabbit and one's a little elephant, which I love. It just gives that cozy sort of vibe in here. And then the cot is from Tutti Bambini. And I'm really, really impressed with this cot because it was, <laughs> I would say, Obviously, it's still expensive, but I think for what you get out of it, it's really not. So it's, I think, about £250, but the quality of it is so, so good. I'm really impressed. It's a proper solid cot. It doesn't feel cheap at all. And obviously, it lasts until they're about six years old because it turns into a cot bed. Sleepyhead is obviously in there temporarily. That is just something we will be using around the house, but I've just left it in here. And little Ewan there, Ewan the sheep, the famous Ewan the sheep. Hopefully that does wonders and does what it's supposed to. <laughs> and then we've got our little monitor there, which is from Nui. Yeah, Nui, it's called the Nui Cam. And we've had to obviously buy a mount to wrap around it. I mean, we would have, Harry would have loved to put one on the shelf kind of like hanging upside down because then you get like a better view even though the view from there is still really good he just would have preferred it to be like hung up on one of these shelves but it doesn't quite work like that with them i'm afraid so yeah we've just kind of put it there for now and i think it's fine um, but yeah really happy with the cot and everything uh the mattress as well is from tutti bambini so yeah just i'll give you a little bit of a close-up of the cot because I know some people really like to kind of see how it looks. I would have loved to. I did think the wood was going to be a little bit lighter than that. When it came, I was a bit like, oh, there's a, a few different kind of shades of oak wood in here. And I don't know how I feel about that. But to be honest, now it's all in here. I really don't mind. And I think it kind of, it all looks really, really lovely. So I'm really happy with it. And then we've got, just got her little um, basket of teddies down there that she's been given over my pregnancy. And then up here we have got the little shelving situation. So the shelves are actually from Ikea and they're actually spice racks. They're not even proper bookshelves. I see the hack on TikTok actually. Quite a few people were buying spice racks because they're actually cheaper. They were like £4.50. Whereas if you actually order a proper shelf that looks like that, they're more expensive. So yeah, little hack there for you. But buy the uh, spice racks from Ikea because they're cheaper. And over here we've just got a few books which we've finally purchased. We didn't have many books for a while but... We went to a garden centre the other day and we picked up these little books here and then that one got gifted by my friend and then just a few little toys there, little teddies and then her little 4D photo, so cute. And then we've just decided to hang this one slightly different so we could hang some nice clothes on there. I really love it when people hang pretty little clothes on one of the shelves and that's what we've done here so we've just taken a couple of her nice clothes and just hung them up and then the little rainbow there is from B&M I've just hung that there because I didn't know where to hang it um, but I think it looks all right there actually um so yeah that kind of fills that plain wall so yeah I'm really really happy with how it's all come out and it just I don't know, in here it just gives me nice calming vibes, cosy, calm vibes. And we probably will buy bits over the next few months just to kind of add to the room. Obviously, it probably does look a little bit bare at the moment, but I'm sure over time we will add to it. I'm really excited for her name sign. I did actually want a cot that had storage underneath, purely because obviously storage is so important and it's just good to have as much storage as possible but this cot obviously doesn't however there is a large gap underneath which you can obviously store stuff it just means that you can see it obviously you guys probably can't see it that well from 
where you're looking but I can so I have stored a few of her play mats under there and just like packaging from things um like sleepyhead packaging and stuff so you know isn't even though it doesn't look obviously you can see it from here it is worth using that gap under there to kind of store stuff I did order some um Ikea storing packages things but annoyingly they are like that little bit too thick to slide under the cot so I can't use them <laughs> so I've literally just had to like obviously slide her play mats under there for now until she starts to use them and then obviously I don't know what I'll store under there to be honest we may I mean we could even get some storage bits for here maybe because obviously this is like a bit of empty space but then I don't want to clutter it I want it to be you know, nice and spacious for when she does start playing and if we want to put bits out, you know, like one of her mats or swing chairs or whatever, we've got the space to do so. I will also just give you a sneak peek into the drawers. So in this drawer, we have got lots of wipes, lots of nappies and just kind of like her shower creams and stuff like that that we've purchased, pseudo creams, dummies in there and talcum powder we've got nappy uh, wipes that go all the way back there as well so we're very <laughs> stocked up on the wipes and nappies in this top drawer we have got all of her body suits and baby grows so in this one we've got all of her body suits and then i've actually labeled it obviously <laughs> They're not very aesthetic labels, but when I was sorting it out, I just needed something quickly to kind of write down so I could even remember myself. <laughs> so I had these little labels and I thought, you know what, so I I'm just going to write on them instead of like, I know some people have these machine things that print out proper labels. I've literally just written on mine. <laughs> so we've got zero to three months here and then we've got um, first size and newborn, which we don't seem to have a lot of, to be honest. It looks very empty. That's like, I'm talking newborn, like really diddy. So, I mean, she may not even be that small. So I'm hoping that, I mean, she will probably fit into zero to three months too. But yeah, it doesn't look like we have much <laughs> for a size of newborn, um, but that's fine. I'm sure there's a few bits in here that are like up to one month, I think. So yeah, I'm sure we'll be fine. And then in this one, we have all of her muslins and I think bibs are in here as well. And then this one, we've got socks, mitts, hats, tights and little booties. And then in this one, we've got three to six months, which has been dumped in there because I do need to wash them. I haven't washed them yet. I didn't want to wash them because they are three to six months. So nearer the time, I will give them a nice wash. But yeah, at the moment, they're just bunged in there <laughs> very messy and then in here we have got a crap ton of nappies <laughs> which has been bought for us i don't even think we've bought a pack of nappies at all yet this has all been given to us by friends and family so thank you so much and lastly i will give you a little peek into her wardrobe which i'm not very proud of because it is not very tidy <laughs> So please don't judge, but we just need more hangers. I stupidly haven't ordered enough. And because they're like the Diddy hangers, that like they have to be really small for her to like for her clothes to fit on them. And we get them from IKEA. And I just well, IKEA isn't close to us, it's quite fast. I've been meaning to do an order and just get them delivered. But it's just one of them things that I keep forgetting to do. So we've got the top rack that's pretty full. Obviously, there's a few bits that are not on IKEA hangers <laughs> that are on the original ones. And then when you come down, it just looks like an absolute tip. So please don't judge. I just need to sort everything out. It's like, it's organised mess, put it that way. There's just loads of clothes in there that I need to sort out. They're more so like bigger clothes. So I'm not that worried because obviously she won't be wearing them straight away. And we've just got like her hooded towels under here, which I have, oh no, I have washed all of her towels. So they are all good to be used. And then in this top drawer, we just have her shoes that she's got at the moment. She's got a hell of a lot of shoes for, well, obviously she's not even born yet, but <laughs> for a little baby. But some of these shoes, obviously she will be growing into, so... um yeah it's just 
a few little shoes there for her to wear and then in this one everything has just been crammed in here so we've got the dream maker that obviously we haven't got out yet we've got blankets we've got a tummy time pillow we've got more blankets and little toys at the bottom there just things that she'll need more for when she's a little bit older that's all so i've just kind of again shoved it all in the drawer so yeah this is her little space that she will be growing up in i absolutely love it and i can't believe that very very soon or maybe by the time you guys are watching this because this is going up on my due date let's hope she's here by then <laughs> So I'm going to end this vlog here. I really hope you guys enjoyed watching. Like I said, this is going up on my due date. So I don't know when I will speak to you guys next. Obviously, I don't have any content filmed after this. So we shall see. I guess I will keep you updated over on my Instagram. So if you want to be kind of like kept up to date, then head over there. And uh, yeah, I guess I shall see you when I see you.